Today is an important day for you and for them. Today they are very, very proud of you. And students listen to me well, especially those of you who are graduating. This is the best day to ask them for money. Let me see the hand of all the graduates that will ask their parents for money today. I want money. When you ask them today, they will give it to you because they are happy. Amen. But today will also be a good day to all them and thank them for supporting you. Because as much as this is your achievement, this is also their achievement. The achievement of the people who care about you. That means your mom, your dad, your stepmom, your stepdad, your uncles, your aunties, your brothers and sisters, and all those well wishers who are here to support you today. They want you to be your best and to live up to your potentials. Graduation can be seen as a coming of age, a sort of official way to recognize when a person steps into the next stage of life. And graduate, you are stepping into your next stage of life. You are students who have attended some of the final schools in this region. And I'm sure that you graduates, your teachers, and your parents feel that you are attending one of the funniest elementary schools in Cornwall, the Light Academy School. Can you all please clap for this wonderful school? Let us give the Lord a hand of praise for this wonderful institution. Some of you may be a little frightened or afraid about going into a higher level of education. You are just like a little boy by the name of Isune Bosi. Please allow me to use this little boy's story to speak to you on what I have topic today, stepping forward with courage. Are you graduates with me right now? Graduates, are you with me? Please repeat this after me, stepping forward with courage. Are the graduates here? Yeah? Say this after me, stepping forward with courage. Say, I am stepping forward with courage. Listen to this wonderful story, it's going to set a mark on you for a very long time. Long ago in Japan, an old couple prayed to God for a child. One day there was a baby crying outside their house. God had answered their prayers. However, the little boy was just one inch tall. I don't know whether you know one inch, but he was very little and too short. The parents named him Asuno Bosi. It is not a familiar name because this story is set in Japan. They named him Isuno Bosi, which means little inch boy. He played in the garden and had the heart of a lion. And his great ambition was to become a samurai that is a great warrior class and to serve his noble lord or the chief of that particular kingdom who was called Koto. He has all thank you.
He was asleep. The few days I looked at the place and I was laughing. He was in Russia too. And he was sleeping. And then we called him up to spell all the colors. And he did spell them. And he spelled that last academy from Russia 1 to 6th grade. Please why I think summer. to make sure 
that the teachers are teaching the children properly and even the children are dropping the lesson. So I want to be grateful to my principal. Thank you very much for your hard work. Also, for my registrar, you know where your money coming from? Hey, if it's not coming properly, the school will break down. So I want to be grateful to my registrar for her hard work. You know, sometimes I put pressure on her while her circle, everybody put pressure on her but she's still friend. So I want to be grateful to her for her hard work. And also to my teachers, my hard working teachers. You know, we don't have a good teachers too. It's bad. Because some of the teachers will go taking money for the children. Some of them will even go as far as sleeping with the children, knowing the children are under age. But I want to be grateful to them too for their hard work. And to my female man, <laughs> my photographer. Thank you very much. Also, for our pastor that is not also be here today. Well, thank you very much as I said, parents. You people are the one that make this occasion successful. Because without you, this children won't be here today. And without you, this children won't be beautiful dressed at the end of the day. So I want to be grateful to you guys for your hard work. I pray that you put keep on. Please keep on the hard work. You put them away very, 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 very well, especially in my absence. Not a complete thing for me, but I saw you people say managing to end the school year. So I pray that next school year will be different from this school year. Uh, I keep to give announcement.